What's up, Fifth Fam? Welcome back to my channel. So in my previous video, I had mentioned that I was going to make an entirely separate video on the attachments that I bought for the Titan T3 Short Yoke. If you haven't watched my last video, I have recently moved, so I'm in a new location. This is actually the master bedroom in my house. It was the only place in the house with tall enough ceilings to be able to have my yoke in here so I could use it as a squat rack or a bench press and I'm able to put my arms overhead and not hit the ceiling. So you're gonna have to forgive me about the lighting. I know I mentioned previously that I was going to replace it, but the plan is is to replace multiple lights in my house and so I wanna do them all at the same time. So we're just gonna have to get used to what this is for the time being. So let's go ahead and start off with my J hooks. So these, like I mentioned, are for the Titan T3 short yoke. They are the roller J hooks because that was actually what was the only thing left in stock when I purchased them. So they are pretty heavy duty. Here's the roller and then they attach in the back of the yoke just like so. And then they just screw in when you put the yoke together with the arms. It is very, very similar. Lastly, I did buy the safety arms as well. On the Titan website, they do have a variety of different styles, but this was kind of what I was going for because of my setup. So it is very heavy duty. It has the peg here in the back and then the arm right here that locks into the yoke itself. They slide in very, very easy. And once they're clipped into place, it has this lip right here. So that way, if you're doing the bench press or if you're doing something like maybe like rack pull, you don't have to worry about the bar rolling off. So this is a nice little stopper here. Now, the one thing that I do wish I could change about my yoke is that this arm right here where you drop the weights onto, I do wish it was removable. So if it was able to be unscrewed and then put back on, that way I could lower the safety arm just a little bit more. But it does do its job. I do appreciate being able to buy the attachments for the yoke itself. Since I did move into a new location, I wanted to try and save money where I could. Ultimately, having the yoke has definitely paid off for sure. I do use my yoke for a variety of other things, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what my last purchase was in order to do that with this yoke. landscaping block from Lowe's. They were right about $1.50 a piece. They weren't terribly expensive, but what I did here was place them underneath the legs of the yoke so that way it would raise it up a little bit. I do have a lot of space between the ceiling and the top of the yoke so that way when I raise this bar up I have a lot more distance between the floor and the yoke itself. So I have this pulley uh, cable that I bought off Amazon. If you have not checked it out I'll go ahead and put the review video in uh, probably one of the corners here so that way you can go check it out but this works perfectly on the yoke so i can loop this around and connects and then you can go ahead and hook up whatever attachment that you have i have the pin right here that i can just put right on the end and then whatever i have for an attachment on this end that way I can do maybe like a lap pull down, something like that. But I needed more space from the top of the yoke to the floor because the cable was just a little bit too long. 
So since I was able to use this landscaping block and add a couple inches underneath the yoke, I'm gonna have a lot more distance. That way I can get the full extension when doing certain exercises. But I do have about seven or eight inches from the top of the yoke to the ceiling itself, so I have a lot of room to kind of play with things and see what the perfect height is. If you also have the Titan T3 yoke and you're looking to get attachments, I have it brought up here on my cell phone. That way I can tell you the prices if you're also interested. So the Titan roller J hooks that I have here in my hand were about $74. These safety arms right here are gonna run you about $99 for the pair. So I know this review has been super short, but I wanted to show you what I've been working with in my new place and being an indoor gym, I suppose you could call it, this is what my setup looks like and it has been working wonderfully. If you also have a Titan yoke and you wanna buy the attachments for it, just make sure that you get the right kind. Like I said, my Titan yoke is a T3, so you wanna make sure that the attachments are also for the T3. Unfortunately, a lot of items have been back ordered due to the whole pandemic and other things going on in the US right now, so just make sure that if you wanna purchase something, do it well in advance, so that way, if it is on back order, you have a little bit of time in between and it's not gonna cut you super short. Let me know in the comment section below if you found this video helpful, as well as give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to tap that subscription button if you haven't already, and I'll catch you next time.